Hey guys, Game Boy Series 6 here, and back for another video. I am recording this two days prior to the release of said video. Uh, this is different from what I've been doing. This isn't a, a Naruto specific video. However, there are plenty of anime references in this video. If you guys want to see the final artwork, it's on my Discord and it might be on my Twitter. However, I have not tweeted out the last two artworks that I've done. So the Naruto X. First, uh, Naruto and Tamari in the last video, and then the video before that, Naruto Jiraiya and Tanade haven't tweeted out those two. So Discord's gonna be your best bet because they're, they are fresh. They are currently on there. So if you go to my Discord server, you can see it, or you can wait until the end of the video uh, where the final product is. But uh, anyways, basically, if you can guess every single anime reference that I've put in put in here and not just the animes they come from but the specific references what they are because there are multiple references from certain anime um one of them one of them should be blatantly obvious once uh you get into it but yeah for this one i wanted to try out a completely different style or, or painting style i guess uh coloring style so rather than going with the classic anime style it has cell shading, I decided to kind of do more of a like a paint paint release style. Uh, this piece uh, took me a total of six hours. Uh, as a reference, the Naruto X Tamari one took me a total of four hours. However, with that one, there's the full background. I'm drawing two characters and then completely uh, coloring the both of them. And I believe the Tsunade Jiraiya Naruto one that also took me probably somewhere around four hours in total uh, drawing time. And that one I'm drawing three characters and coloring all three of them. So this is a this is a reference. Obviously, uh, I'm not going to be doing this style consistently. And in fact, um, I may try to find a way to uh, make this look a little bit better and find a way to may maybe do this faster however i'm not sure if i can necessarily speed up the way um the way that i do this so this will probably be the last one of 2021 don't plan on doing any more for the rest of the year uh for this for the end of this year i am considering doing the six fan arts like like i did last year i ended i ended 2020 with the six fan arts uh, it featured Luffy, Zoro, Goku, um, Vanessa, Anateka, Minnie Mouse, and Hinata Hugo. I made a poll, or I made a Google form to be more accurate, to for people to give me suggestions for characters. However, the only three, uh, and I only accepted characters that I actually knew somewhat. So, uh, the only three that people suggested that I knew. Um, well, there's only one person who responded, but it was uh, Zoro, Goku, and Minnie Mouse. Uh, some guy, the same guy suggested Ash Ketchum and Misty from Pokemon. Don't watch the series, I'm not familiar with it. Probably not going to watch it anytime soon. Hence, I didn't do either of them because, I mean, it's the term fan art. I'm not going to make fan art for a series that I'm not a fan of. That just killed the purpose and now that i mention it to be honest I probably sh shouldn't have done the uh, mikasa ackerman one um yeah so anyways i don't really have anything much to say about this so yeah this is a different style um this has less stages, this has the doodle, the sketch, and then the final. I, I didn't do a, there's no line art, and then I didn't do a flat stage because I did each specific component separately. The skin, the eyes, um, the hair, the hat, jacket, the shirt, etc. And then all the different references. So, yeah. I do want to let you guys know, I might have mentioned this in last week's video or the week before, that I am getting 
that I am considering getting into more versus battle videos. The only two that I've done so far are Kotsuki Bako versus Shota Toroki, and for that I only used Season 3, and that was before Season 5 came out, and the reason I used Season 3 for both of them is because in Season 4, um, they were in the, um, I forget what it was, but they are in the, they are in the, um, provisional class in order to get their licenses since they both failed the exam uh, the provisional licensing exam so neither of them like showed any sign of significant growth however season five is sort of a different story it's more more vague how much they have grown in terms of their uh their powers like i mean they've gotten better but it's like for example I believe Todoroki, if I remember correctly, Todoroki can now focus his fire better into into like one concentrated blast. Uh, I believe Bakugo can do a similar thing with his explosions. However, Bakugo still has a disadvantage fighting in the cold because if you guys know how Bakugo's quirk works, he he sweats nitro glycerin and then makes it makes it blow up. Obviously, if he's cold. Just like any other human, for that matter. Or probably any mammal. I'm not sure. Well, I'm not, I'll just go with human for now. But if you're in the cold, it's going to be harder than this one. Therefore, Bakugo's explosions... Bakugo would have more trouble making explosions. Uh, I believe... And basically, in the battle that I did with Bakugo and Todoroki, I didn't focus on power scaling whatsoever or like calcing their attacks or any of that and I and I said, said the Todoroki is better uh, I referenced the their fight in the sports festival Todoroki wasn't fully focused but even even so he was able to counter Bakugo in hand-to-hand -hand combat so in a hypothetical battle where they're both at 100 where they're both at 100% mentally and physically I would say that Todoroki would have the advantage, plus his eye, he can use his eyes to make the surrounding area colder and therefore make Bakugo's explosions uh, less powerful because it would be hard for him to sweat. So, yeah. And honestly, from the end of season 5, I, I would still say Todoroki would do better than Bakugo, if I'm going to be honest. The thing with Todoroki is obviously he has he has much better use of his uh, ice than he does his fire, and that's because for most of his life he's been rebelling against his father and chosen not to use his fire powers. He's just recently started using him as like end of season two, so it would make sense given that he's trained basically his entire life with ice, almost exclusively ice, and he hasn't really trained with fire, therefore his abilities in, in regards to his fire are going to be less and therefore in a hypothetical battle I do think Bakugo would like to take advantage of the fact that Todoroki can't really use fire as well as he can use his um, ice and he would probably attack Todoroki's left side that's just that's just one thing and Bakugo isn't stupid when it comes to fighting. He sh he's shown that he can... How versatile he can use his quirk. He can use his quirk to fly around. He can use his quirk to maneuver quickly in combat and... Uh, propel himself in any direction he wishes to avoid an attack. So, he doesn't just straight up charge in. Like, like you would think, given his um, hot-headed attitude, but... I mean, and just like someone might think that Naruto is just the type of person who charges straight in, but he doesn't do that either. Now, um, now as well as most of the video I've been talking about that hypothetical battle, if you guys want me to do a version 2 in which I talked about their season, season 5 abilities or what they've gained and then just give my verdict, I can do this soon. Um, also, I have done some Hunter Hunter calcs for uh, Kibua. 
uh, and I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna be calking Hunter Hunter, and I'm gonna try I'm gonna put Hunter Hunter characters against against other people from um, other verses. So if you guys are interested in that kind of thing, uh, be sure to leave comments down below, and I will see you guys next time.